Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have one of my favorite cars, a Ford Mustang. This is a 1993 Ford Cobra. They produce 4,993 of these. And in this combination, they produce 1,079, which would be black, the UA code with the gray leather interior. This one has around 93,000 miles. Motor was recently gone through, so it has all new gaskets, the whole nine yards. Suspension's been gone through. And if you guys wanna find out full details on this ride, click on the link below. This one's gonna be headed to auction, so you guys can bid to win it. We're gonna start off with the overall condition. So when we purchased it, this was an original paint car. What we did is we kind of freshened it up. We did paint the front end along with some of the side moldings just to make it really pop. Uh, interior was cleaned up. We did do a service on it. It has brand new uh, Neato 555s on it with 99% tread. All the glass is very nice. It does have an upgraded stereo. I would rate this a eight out of 10 in regards to condition and quality. The reason I'm giving it that rating is because there are a few minor imperfections, which I'll show you as we walk around it. Front end is extremely nice. The upgraded LMR lights, your fog lights work as they should, and the front bumper is extremely clean. This is the signature front end piece for the Cobra. You're gonna see that the hood is still original, so it does have a little bit of checking in it and small rock chips. It does have 93,000 miles. Body lines are extremely straight, so if you look down the driver's side, you're gonna see that it shows very well. I can bend down and you can see that it's extremely clean. We had east side detailing come out. They did a complete polish on it after we had those components painted. Everything matches properly. All the wheels are in excellent condition. Brakes have been gone through. All of your body cladding is very nice. It's not folding out. And this, wait, wait till you see underneath it. So please click on the link below. You're going to see all the underside shots. You'll see the suspension components and how dry it is under there. When I open up the door, I want you to notice all of the rubber. Very nice and clean. Your door edges are very clean. There's no rust. Your door cards are extremely clean. And you almost don't think that it has that mileage. Runs great. Seat belts are in great condition. And the leather is very nice as well. All of your lumbar supports work. The seats do go back and forth with ease. And just look at how nice the paint is. Here's your Vince sticker. And then all the rubber around here is very supple. Your plastic here is in good shape. Normally these crack. I do see a small imperfection on this rubber piece right here. And then you do have a little bit of wear on the leather, which is common. Steering wheel's in excellent condition. Your dash is in very nice shape. Stereo sounds amazing, so it does have two aftermarket amplifiers, a small little subwoofer, along with the speakers that have been upgraded. So you can drive this every day if you want to, but this is definitely would be a weekend car for me. It does have an aftermarket alarm as well. And when I gave it that eight and a half rating, it's because of the small imperfection right here. And I apologize for the tire shine, little dimple here. And then there's small surface scratches on this quarter. Rear end is extremely clean. You have your Cobra insignia right here. And when you pop the trunk, you're gonna see how nice it is. Third brake light works as it should. And look at all of the components here and how nice non-oxidized they are. There's no rot, there's no rust. You still have all your stickers throughout. So when we pop that hood, I want you guys to see that there still are VIN stickers on every component of this vehicle, even on that, on that, that corner right there. So I'd go take a look at that with the camera. You can see how nice it is. Tail lights are in great shape, and these are signature for the Cobra with the black insignia. Small little or scratch imperfection right here. And then on the top of the wing, there's a small scratch right here as well. We're pointing all this out because we sell 99% of our cars sight unseen, so we want you guys to know exactly what you're getting. Look at our reviews. If you need help with shipping, we can help you with that as well. Oh, so you do have a aftermarket subwoofer here and then two amplifiers. One's gonna be for your actual vocal speakers, and then you have one for your bass. Car covers included as well. Shocks still work, which is nice. Normally, you see pictures of this on Facebook and there's like a piece of wood holding it. Passenger side quarters in excellent condition. Your gas cap is very nice. You can see that it still has the proper stickers. Nothing's been painted over. So we, the only paint work we did was because of the fading. The plastic on the front of these cars does fade, and we wanted to take care of that because that brings it to the next level and I don't think it hurts the value. Also, if you're hearing this helicopter here, we're five minutes from the Fort Lauderdale Airport, so if you guys wanna fly in, whether it be a helicopter or Delta or Spirit, you can do that. We can get you picked up with an Uber, and you guys can drive this back home. We just had a gentleman fly in from Indy to pick up a 87 Monte Carlo we had, which was a really, really nice piece. Passenger side's very clean. All of your leather is very nice and supple on the passenger side and the lumbar supports do work as well. There's no discoloration on any of the rubbers throughout. And that's what made me buy this car. This came out of Glendale. So you know it's a dry climate. Cobra insignias are proper. I don't know if they've been replaced, but they show extremely well. Wheels are in the proper direction. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they are in the proper direction. Let me pop the hood. So the differences between this and a GT 
would be the uh, two-piece intake manifold. It has a 65 millimeter throttle body versus the 60 millimeter that would come on a GT. 24 pound injectors versus a 19. So that produces 235 horsepower versus I believe the 220. Still all factory other than the exhaust on it. So it has full headers. All the belts are in very nice shape and it was resealed completely. So if you look at the water pump, and all the jackets you're going to see the the blue resealing and that's on the bottom too so you'll see that in the engine bay here are all the stampings i was talking about for the fenders die hard battery maximum motorsports camber plates this is a really clean one and it's set up properly you have all the great looks of the 93 cobra and you have additional performance modifications to really help you out if you guys want to see more clips of this specific ride you can go to our social media which would be bullet motorsports on our Instagram or Bullet Motorsports on our TikTok. And we have tons of additional videos with music, the whole nine yards. Felix behind the camera actually takes care of that. I'm gonna start it up right now for you and we're gonna take it for a test drive. Starting it, fuel pump's working. Sounds good, we've got great oil pressure. Uh, it's almost to the H, which would be high, cold for our water temperature, our voltage is working, 93,120 miles. It has a uh, shorty shifter for sure. Headliner is very nice. All your lights are working in here. Your headlights work as they should as well. <laughs> so much power from that AC. So AC works as it should. You've got your AC components here. It, I, I think it actually does have a slight cam if you listen to it. Let's go back there. That doesn't sound stock to me, right? Sounds like a, a 303 cam. And it sounds really good. Let's jump in it and take it for a spin. Come on. We're inside the cabin right now. The steering wheel is in excellent condition. Your windows work as well, so you can control it right here. And you do have both options working. Your power windows work as well. And the AC is blowing cold. It's super hot here in Florida today. You do have an aftermarket stereo that's a hideaway stereo. So once you turn it off, it turns all black. And it sounds great. Shifter is easy. Clutch has been replaced. Let's take it for a ride. Clutch is easy, you just pull it out with no issues. We're gonna take it on our regular route, which would be on to Marina Mile. We're gonna go to our location where we can get some outside shots for you and let you decide if this is what you wanna put in your garage. This is an extremely clean example, cold air, suspension's been upgraded so you have the better handling. I believe the Cobras did have sway bars and larger diameter wheel, so you'd have a lower profile tire for better handling. If you guys like this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe because that will bring you guys more great cars like this. Um, every time you click on that button, that allows us to get more camera equipment to give you guys better angles. So if you guys like it, just do it. We're going to take it over the bridge. We're going to turn around. We're going to do one acceleration run. Then we're going to take it onto our back road so you can see how the suspension feels. But overall, this is a very tight vehicle. Steering feels great. And I think we should hear the motor. So we're going to put this down and we're going to shut the air off. And I have a total problem whenever I I'm driving a Fox. If I have the AC off, I have to have everything centered like this. And that's how it should be. Turn signals work as they should. It's about 85 degrees today here in Florida. Third gear. Let's put it in fifth and test out if it's slipping. So fifth, I'm giving it throttle right now at 40. We're not having any slippage. Downshifts are easy. We're going to test out the acceleration right now. Should we dump it? Oh my god. It feels good. It's lightweight. Yeah, buddy! Lightweight, baby! Ain't no Turbo Fox, but you know, it'll do. It'll do. Oh, brakes are even. do one more acceleration like moderately no no aggressiveness first gear second gear what more can you ask for hope you guys enjoyed that test drive have a great day see you later